Hi, I'm Jake. I gotta show off that man. So this is the TB3 CP80 test box. It's used for end users to bench test our sensors. It is used to test the sensors in order to make sure that they are working properly. You can also use them out on the field. That way you don't have to disassemble or uninstall any sensors that are already set up on your machines. Um, it's also used by our reps and distributors uh, for demo boards. That way they can show off to customers both the test box and how our sensors work when they are being tested uh, for actuation or not. So first we have here is a normally open PNP sensor. Uh, it only has three wires, brown, blue, and black. First you'll plug in the brown wire for your positive using the spring clamp. And then you'll plug in the blue for your common. And then after that you can plug in your signal into either uh, the white or black. If you choose the white one, it'll just show the LED. If you choose the black one, it'll show the LED, plus it'll give an alarm. Um, so right now, as you can see, it's not actuated, so there's no LEDs on. Once you get a target in front of it, the green LED should be on. Take it off, it's off again, and then put it back on. All right. And then next, we'll show a normally open NPN sensor. This one will have a blue LED as opposed to a green one. And it has the same wire set up. Three wire, brown, blue, and black. First you wanna hook up your positive. And then your common is your blue. And then we'll plug in black for your signal. You see it's not on. Once it's actuated, it should be a blue LED and take it off and put it back on again, it's a blue LED. Right. And then lastly here we have a Nemore sensor, which is used for intrinsically safe locations. This one will be using the quick disconnect feature. Uh, it's just a snap on. And then once it's snapped, you'll notice on the CP80 test box that it works just like our normally closed sensors. The LED is already on. Then when it's actuated, it'll turn off. And then when you take it off, it should turn back on. And then when you actuate it again, it'll turn back off. And that's how the CPA test box works.